sorry. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> I'm Karina. I'm Kimberly. Uh, Michelle Fizik is from Tar Butters. Alright, big, big fans of Agent Carter. Oh, thank you. Oh, we love Sorry, that thing. Agent Carter. Always want more Agent Carter. I know. So, I love that drum. I had to say that before I got started. <laughs> thank you. So, the evolution of the show. Um, how did that come to be? Is the writing idea you guys brought together? Or? Uh, when we were starting to develop this season, we. Sometimes what you do is you sort of go into the school, what kind of shows do I like, what kind of movies do I like, and one of the touchstones for this is like Spielberg movies of our youth, where it's Close Encounters or E.T., where it's wonder, it can be scary, it's family, um, it's, and it's a family where like this extraordinary thing happens, but they're still just trying, it's like if everyone else just left this family alone, they'd be fine. <laughs> Um, but everyone keeps bothering them. Um, so we like that. I think as far as the character of Joe goes, that is a part based on a real person, a real cop that uh, a woman that my husband used to work with, where her, her mom was a cop and sort of took her into her family because it was just sort of a practical thing to do and the right thing to do. And I thought that was such a really great way of immediately liking a character. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of different sort of elements that went into... Well, you very much centered sort of the mother-daughter relationship, foster-mother-daughter, mm -hmm. at least in the pilot. Yeah. Like, it's, she's instantly protected. She is, although what I love about how Allison plays is she's, she plays... There's always two tracks going on. Mm -hmm. It's... She's protective and cares about this kid and, and knows that... I'm kind of the only person this kid has right now, mm -hmm. but she's also always got this separate track of what's going on, why does this kid act like she's instantly attached to me, like she still knows as a cop, like this is weird, and I don't, I know I don't know the whole story. Uh, so I like that, I like keeping it on that end. Um, what are some of the themes the series will explore? Um, uh, I don't, I don't, that's, that's a, that's that's a hard one because I don't want to give away something. We do have themes that we explore. Um, what do you think? The family and sort of in, in how you stay a family and because obviously Joe is divorced from uh, God's character, Alex, and I think that's what we kind of you know, the thing that we explore what is, what is, what is a family. Yeah. Sort of like a found family yeah. almost. Uh, and I like, like, the way we're playing Allison and, and Donald Faison's characters, they're recently divorced and they don't quite know how to act divorced yet all the time. <laughs> so, and, and keeping it that kind of in a gray area and slightly messy. Um, yeah, I am. But it's going to give it away too much. Very quickly in the in the in the season, yeah. there's a shift that. Yeah. And we're going to answer we'll have a whole conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Questions quickly. I think there's not there's not a lot of wasted time where you feel like it's just a stall. Yeah. I, mean, I get really aggravated when I watch yeah. shows yeah. like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Carter was really quickly paid. Okay. Yeah. 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 The conspiracy with the black widow, yeah, and that all, yeah, and it's a very similar type of storytelling in the sense that we, every episode, there is a, a story that that hopefully comes to a satisfying result, but there's these continuing storylines with the characters and with the overarching story. So, what drew you to Allison? I loved her ever since I saw her. I just, I there's, I don't think there's anything she can't do. And she really can. She can do anything. Yeah, I love her in the good yeah. girls. So. Yep. <laughs> and we were just really lucky because, you know, Donald came in and actually auditioned for the part, and as soon as we saw him, and we knew immediately he was the right person for Alex. Yeah. Just, you know, the cast really came together in a way that was like... Lucky that Allison was available. Lucky that Allison wanted to do it. Lucky that Clancy wanted to do it. Clancy yeah. Brown like happened to be available. Happened to be looking for something to do, and this was attractive to him. So it was. Yeah, like, How about the, the moms were talking to me? I read a site called Geek Mom. Uh huh. So how? 
did the kids come together? You know what? And that was, you're always getting nervous about when you're casting kids because you never know. But they were our first choice, and it, we were so glad that everyone saw what we saw in them because they were wonderful. <laughs> nice kids, they like each other. It's a nice group of people, which I think is kind of what we strive for. Is that life is too short to work. <laughs> Maybe not always easy to avoid. <laughs> You know what? We not had wood. We very lucky. avoid it for a while. Man. I that's mean, what, that's what's nice about being agent of the boss. Yeah. Where it's like <laughs> let's just not hire her. Kevin Prado's is a real wonderful, wonderful cast. Yeah. And this is another one. Yeah. I think we're gonna start. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Zero. Not Zero. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's just us two. I know. Yeah. I like it. Trying to. Oh, I did.